I think Kaka'ako has really taken off since Mima Schools decided to, to really make an investment in this place. It feels more like a neighborhood. There is really a sense of homeliness to this urban space here. I personally have felt um, very supported, very cared for, and I feel very fortunate to be a tenant of an organization like Kamimia Schools. I think in the beginning, it was like the place that gave us a chance. You know, it was the place that sort of gave us walls to paint on. I think for Kamimia Schools, they kind of understood the impact of art. Like, they saw that it was a way to sort of change the fabric of the neighborhood. When people come by and they're looking for all the artwork and seeing the different artwork, we're also discovering a lot of local businesses in the area. I think it's one of the few, I guess, urban living areas out here. And the community really comes together and works together to sort of build this area. It's a very interesting uh, cross-section of people. We thought it was going to be a lot of folks from elsewhere. But it's a lot of folks from Hawaii, like ourselves, who, you know, they're, they're empty nesters or they just want a change and mm -hmm. come into town and enjoy all the you know, nice things that are here. I became a first time homeowner in June 2019. I like that everything's very walkable here. It feels safe, it feels welcoming. It has a lot of cool energy about this area. I think Powahi would be very supportive and excited about this type of growth, something that encompasses both modern change but also holding on to the idea of home, the idea of uh, where we come from. When I was in the program and when I first found out about Power School of Music, I thought like, where has this been? There was nothing like this. There was no program like this. You know, I think what I was looking for was like a family. I had amazing mentors. People I still look up to to this day and I keep in contact with because in addition to the educational experience, you have a real connection with these people. Everybody who works here, they're from here, they're local. And I'm teaching them a trade. And I want them to be able to learn something that they can either keep contributing to the perpetuation of our business or even take it and branch out on their own someday and expand it. They, they feel like they're part of a team. They're not employees. We're family and we, we work hard together, we play hard together and it's, it just it works that way for us. It's a really exciting urban community and it's a place where people can get a taste of being integrated with local culture, local people and some unique stores and shops here. And I think that really comes from Kamimna schools and how they wanted to create Kakaako.